Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add an icon to your Minecraft server. Specifically, I'm talking about this right here, this little thing that says play.breakdowncraft.com. I'm going to show you how to add something like that to your Minecraft server, that when, whenever somebody adds it to the server list right like this, they'll be able to see that little icon and uh, get any information about your server and just make your server stick out, basically. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But first, a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown xyz slash apex to get an awesome 24 hour ddos protected minecraft server for just a few bucks a month we love apex so much that we actually use them to host our own network server play.breakdowncraft.com so if we trust them you can too go check them out again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex nevertheless let's go ahead and jump on into this now first and foremost we need to make sure our server is set up i do have a server set up right here just locally that we're going to be using but it's the same process if you're on somewhere like apex minecraft hosting or somewhere like that. Basically, in the main directory of the server here is where you're going to put your server icon. But if you notice, there's probably not one there. Now, in some cases, you might have a thing called server-icon.png, and if you do, that's great. But I don't have one here, and this is just a newly created paper server. Now, what do we do if we want to add a server icon? Well, first and foremost, we need to create one. And honestly, these are very, very simple to create, but you don't have much to work with. For example, if I open up Photoshop here, this is the one that we use. This is our server icon, right? And if I zoom out to 100%, right, which is where we were, this is how small it is. And that's because this is just 64 pixels by 64 pixels. Yes, you heard me right. The Minecraft server icon is just 64 pixels by 64 pixels, or this resolution here. Now, if we zoom in, we can see that this does say play.breakdowncraft.com, barely. Now, how I'm going to have you differentiate between this right here, which is the one that's actually live on our server, it doesn't have a background, and ours is pretty simple. I'm just going to go ahead and add a new layer down here and do a background on it. We're just going to boom, right? Like so. And now you're going to very much so be able to see that. But what if you can't come in here and create this one? Like I created this one for our server, but what if you have no Photoshop skills? What if you don't have Photoshop? What if you just have no clue what you're doing when it comes to design? Well, we do have a solution for you on that, and that is this right here. It is Fiverr. We use Fiverr all the time for different design things, different little things that we can't tackle ourselves. Fiverr can be great for it. So if we come in here and just do like graphics design, for example, somebody in here will be able to help us out for a couple bucks, like $10 or so, we'll be able to get an awesome Minecraft server icon from any of these people. And uh, yeah, that's basically that. Look at some of their work and check them out. I don't have any specific recommendations here, but there is a link to Fiverr in the description down below. That is an affiliate link. So if you purchase through that link, we do get a little kickback at no additional cost to you. But nevertheless, here is all this stuff and you can figure out who is going to be the best for you. I would message them before you order and say, hey, I'm looking for a very small image 64 by 64 can you handle that most likely somebody's going to very quickly say yes and there you go you've got your minecraft server icon created there's also a great way to get things like a logo for your server and all sorts of stuff but nonetheless once you've got your server icon what do you do with it well first and foremost i'm going to go ahead and export this server icon i'm just going to save it to my desktop here we want to save this as a png file that is very important and we also want to make sure that it is named server dash icon dot png that exact name server s-e-v-e-r dash icon dot png that's what it needs to be go ahead and save and then click ok now if we minimize our browser we can see that this is server icon dot png now yours may not say dot png at the end and if it doesn't that is ok i'm gonna go ahead and minimize our browser here we're gonna take this server icon here and just drag it into the main directory of our minecraft server now if you're on a server host like apex minecraft hosting link in the description by the way but if you're on apex you just drag it into that same directory this main directory where you have your server.properties file, your spigot.yml file, if you're on paper, your paper.yml file, all that stuff where your eula.txt file is, where that eula.txt file is, put your server icon in the same area as that. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and start your server. Your server will need to be stopped for the server icon to update. You can only do that whenever the server restarts or if the server stopped, you add it and then start the server back. Basically, if you add it while the server is up and running, it won't recognize it until the server is restarted. Now we can go ahead and open up Minecraft here. We do have play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft 1.13.2 survival server in the multiverse. Come play on it. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. But if we add a new server here, I'm just going to uh, name this the icon server. I'm actually just going to put our local IPv4 address in there because uh, 
that's, that's what it is. That's what this server is hosted on. And if we click done here, we will be able to see that the server icon does appear. And that is the one that we had because it is the uh, white background on it. If we want to come over here to Photoshop, we can change that real quick to, let's say, a black background. Let's go ahead and change that to a black background. Go ahead and save it again in that same place here. We'll just go ahead and actually save it directly into the server because why not? We want to save this as a PNG file. Right, like so, server icon.png, save, it already exists, do you want to replace it? Yes, we do, there we go, and now we need to restart the server, so type stop there, close out of the server, and restart it, and then we'll be able to refresh, and we'll see that the server icon changes from white to black, because we just changed the background from white to black. You can also do no background, that's why it's a PNG file, so you can remove the background, like we don't have a background on ours, but whatever you want to do there, we can now refresh the server, and it will go ahead and update to the black background. So there you guys have it. That's how you can add an icon to your server. Just make sure it's titled server-icon and make sure it is a PNG file. And then just drop it into the main directory of your server. If you have any questions, post those in the comment section down below. We're more than happy to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And come check out play.breakdowncraft.com if you're just looking for an awesome 1.13 or 1.14 when it comes out survival server. Anyway guys, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown and I am out. Peace.